Have you seen a Singaporean here in Trio before? Hi, I'm Man and I live in Hong Kong but right now I'm in vacation in France. I've been living in Hong Kong since 2019. Um, a new job brought me here. I live on an island, Ching Chow, which is 35 minutes away by ferry from Hong Kong Island. It is really unique, charming, and a beautiful, beautiful island. And we really love having friends over to barbecue, to spend a day, and to go to our friends' places on the island as well because we all love to have people over. It's, I find it similar to the kampong spirit, uh, the community we have in Singapore, where people living in the same area just look out for each other. And I'm lucky to have that abroad. I grew up in Bukit Panjang, and fortunately we are surrounded by nature there as well. We had the same unobstructed view from the balcony since my parents moved there more than 30 years ago. I spent a lot of time as a kid playing at the beautiful park downstairs um, which I still frequent whenever I'm home. So before the pandemic, I would go home quite often because it's really convenient. The changes in your loved ones, your home, your country is so much more apparent when you don't see them as often. It's funny how when you're physically apart, you felt the need to be more emotionally connected. I still eat Singaporean food like at least three times a month. Um, I have an instant kopi o supply. I tune into a Singaporean radio station every now and then in the morning. So whenever I speak English, people will ask me, you're from Singapore, aren't you? And then it made me realize that I carry my Singaporeanness with me everywhere I go. I carry my country everywhere I go. Um, it, it's very heartwarming to speak Singlish. A lot of people from different countries tell me that they love the sound of Singlish and they ask me not to change anything. So I want Singaporeans to know that Singlish is very special. 